Welcome back students. Today we have got with us the very talented Dr. Shilpa Singh who has secured rank 28 in this year's NEET SS exam and has taken a seat in DNB SS Gynecologic Oncology at Dharamshila Narayan Super Specialty Hospital, hope I am uh, saying it correctly, in New Delhi. So many congratulations on this Dr. Shilpa. Let's discuss with you uh, your background a little and how did you manage to get this rank and a seat of your choice in this NEET SS 2023 exam. So let's start with your background. Where did you do your UG and PG from Dr. Shilpa? Uh, Ma'am, ma I did my UG from uh, SK Medical College, Muzaffarpur in 2015. And I did my PG from Patna Medical College, Patna in 2020. Uh, I was doing my SR ship uh, from uh, AN Magad Medical College, Gaya. Uh, from uh, the beginning, I always wanted to get some higher degree. Uh, and that's why I joined Ripronit. Uh, I had given a FET exam last year and my rank was 105. Oh, and in so before that, before that, let's go back to your post-graduation. So after post-graduation in Bihar, I think there's a three-year bond period. Yeah, yeah, ma'am. I was doing bond only. So you were doing bond. When did you finish yeah. your PhD? To, to, uh, 2020, ma'am. In 2020. 2020. And that is when you decided that you have to uh, now start preparing for a super specialty exam. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes. All right. So how was the learning? How was the reading during post-graduation? Ma'am, I, I have read uh, Williams uh, during my post-graduation, but at, uh, at PMCH Academics was not so good. So I had to read my own, all the things my own. Uh, and uh, during my SR ship, I thought that I will, uh, I will do some, uh, I will do MCH. And from then I started uh, preparing, but I got, I enrolled in, I got your subscription last year only in November 20, uh, in November 2022. November 2022, you took the subscription. So before that, uh, what all were you reading? Uh, I was reading just from bo uh, books and MCQs and all. all I was right. not in the... Fine, last year in November 2022. Yes, ma'am. After that, how was the reading like? Uh, I, I, I did only your notes, ma'am. Only your videos and nothing else. And MCQ, uh, MCQs, your test and discussion, your test and discussion, uh, which you started th this year. Uh, right. four months before uh, NEET SS. That was really helpful, ma'am. It helped me a lot. Uh, the way you uh, taught to approach the questions, that was really, really helpful, ma'am, because uh, I, 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 don't re I, I don't used to read all the four options and you taught to how to approach the question. That was really, hel that helped me a lot. And all the test series and... Uh, uh, a mock test and uh, subject wise test everything was very helpful and also the recalls were very helpful ma'am yes that is what i wanted to point out that i had taken a lot of efforts to discuss recalls just before the exams yes ma'am that was and i i, I had also joined the neat ss eye opener course for yes. uh, last uh, last one month when the date awesome. has been extended that was very helpful ma'am for two last two to three days i did only your uh, neat ss eye opener videos i read only that uh, wonderful thank you so much for that uh, for the information so for the last one year the only source was repeat learning yes ma'am nothing else and during your PG, you were not just like other residents. I, I can say that 95% of OBG residents all over India do not get time to read during their post-graduation or do, are not in an institute where the academics is very good. So everything yeah. depends on how much time you yourself are going to draw from your day and then read. So during your yes, PG... I was, I was not able to read in my PG uh, for two years. In, last, in third year, I had some time to read some books and all I prepared for exam and that time I was pregnant also so it was very difficult in my PG I didn't read well you were with a toddler yeah yes so ma'am helped a lot because it was concise and you had the material readily available I read only your only your notes ma'am only your videos and only the MCQs uh, provided by you nothing else ma'am and that was really helpful so I told ma so I have written in, in the message also in tele telegram that all I got the rank all because of you thank you so much 
so much, Doctor. Help me a lot, ma'am. So uh, before we end, uh, give us a few tips for the next batch because the exam is around a year now, ten to eleven. Now. Yes, ma'am. Uh, first thing is to believe in yourself that then you can score a rank. That's the most important thing, and uh, read at least five to six hours every day. Uh, yes. And if you're doing some job, then at least uh, for two, one or two months, you should take leave. Uh, that would be helpful. And uh, at least five to six hours every day is most important. And revision is the most important thing. It's not important to read from multiple sources. The most important thing is to revise uh, everything, to recall everything in exam. Uh, that's the most important thing. You have to avoid silly mistakes. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Read only that much as much you will be able to revise. Revise. You away. cannot revise big books and you cannot revise so many things from multiple sources. That's the most important thing. And in exam, now you you get confused. In even uh, small things, you get confused. So that most important thing is to, you should be very clear at that time. You have to read all the questions clearly. And uh, I think, ma'am, repro need is more than enough. Thank you so much. Uh, quickly, let's also discuss about the exam. When you saw the paper, what was the first feeling? Or throughout the exam, what were you feeling like? Was it an easy paper, or were you were thinking that uh, it's not going to? It was not, not ma'am. It was not an easy paper. It was uh, like uh, you have to. Uh, you must have read everything. Uh, it was from uh, Onco as well. It was from. Uh, the questions were from uh, uh, reproductive medicine as well, and from it, it was a mixed bag. So, uh, need assess is very unpredictable, ma'am. Last year it was from ops, uh, to typically ops based paper. So it's this very unpredictable. But you should expect a difficult paper because that filters out the people who have not read, and the competition becomes easier. Yes, yes, ma'am. Uh, the paper was difficult, but you always guided us, ma'am, to prepare for a higher level. <laughs> That's yes. why I felt it, it. It was easier than your mock test, so it. Uh, I find it easier. Yes, mock the test. paper was easier than your mock test, ma'am. I found our mock test very difficult. The paper was easier, so I find I found easier. The paper was easier than mock. You prepared all. Uh, you always guided for a higher level. That's why I, I felt. Feel, I feel so happy to hear these words from students. Of course, ma'am. It was very helpful, ma'am. Without Repronit, I well, I cannot ex expect ki I would have secured a rank 28 in NEET as his like exam. Uh, you have worked. You were the one who deserved it. I was the one who showed you guidance. I'm guiding a lot of people, but people like you have secured. So congratulations on this, Dr. Shilpa.